Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Red and another Tesla software update video. So we finally received the US branded summer update. Of course, it's not summer in Australia, but uh, nevertheless, this is version 2024.26.7. So we'll go through some of the new features in this update. So the first is the addition of YouTube Music. Amazon Music, some updates to Castle Doombad. I believe you can now use it without a controller. Parental controls. Now, this is a big one if you've got teenage kids. You can limit acceleration, set maximum speed, force safety features to be on, um, set a night curfew to notify yourself and the driver through the Tesla app on your on your phone and the um, screen on the, on the for the driver when they're going past their curfew next one is navigate to sub destinations and uh, we'll try all these out once we've gone through the list that'll allow you to say navigate to a specific terminal at an airport rather than just the airport itself those sorts of things um, depending on what's in the navigation database, which I'm sure will get added to as time goes on. Weather forecast and air quality. Schedule charging and preconditioning. So it gives you more control over scheduled charging and the uh, ability to set a precondition. Security and other updates. The main one here is a redesigned climate panel. We'll have a look at that one. And the fan speed will, on auto will lower down on a phone call, that kind of stuff, to reduce ambient noise. Um, and you've also now got the ability to adjust the accent lights in the Tesla Model 3. So we'll have a look at that. Our Zoom meetings can now also default to full screen when your car's in park and you can log in with a QR code. So right off the bat we can see the new weather information up here. Click on that, we've got the little symbol there next to it and we can click on that and have a look at the forecast hourly, uh, chance of rain, humidity, wind speed, UV and air quality. So that's one of the new features. We'll just go through these, this list in order. The uh, blue little dots there will give you an indication that something's new. So lights, this is where we have our accent lights. Um, at the moment they're on. We've got a slider for the brightness. So that's new. Uh, you can have night only. Um, so yep, that's Gives you a bit more control there. Schedule, so we can schedule a precondition to adjust the capture temperature and we'll warm the battery, uh, ready to drive, or charges. And we've got schedules for home and work. In safety, here's our parental controls, so we can turn that on. We've got a number of features there we can adjust. So if you look at the uh, climate panel, we can see that a lot of the more of, often used items, such as fan speeds, auto, seating, and that kind of stuff, is all down the bottom now, rather than being at the top. So you're not having to click that and then don't do a reach up top. You can all do it from the bottom of the screen with your thumb while you're driving. Makes it a bit easier. The uh, less used items like keep, dog, camp are up the top. As far as the navigate to sub destinations, here's the how it looks. I can go to a, go to an airport, for example. Here, um, it's a fairly small airport, so the only options we've got are car parks. Uh, if you've got a bigger airport with multiple terminals, it'll have that as well. But uh, it's got the list of options there. I can see on the map where they are. 
and uh, navigate to a particular car park rather than having to navigate just to the airport itself. And as far as the new apps, we've got Amazon Music. I don't actually have an account, so I won't load that up. But uh, obviously, if you have an account, you can use that uh, QR code to log in. And same YouTube Music. Um, I just use Spotify, but uh, if you use either of those two, that's uh, fantastic. And just the arcade changes we've seen, um, I won't bother mucking around with that. But uh, yeah, so that's our summer release. Um, some new updates there, some sort of minor improvements. Again, great to see these coming out so often uh, to continually improve our vehicles. Hopefully that's uh, helped you out. Um, if you haven't received it yet, it should be coming soon. I think it's coming close to 40% of vehicles now have this, this summer release. So hopefully you'll get yours soon. Please uh, give us a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for more.